All right, guys, Kazoo 71 on my playthrough on Scorched Earth. Welcome back. This week, I am going to be working on my wall around my base. So what I did was um, I had originally built a gateway and some spike walls, as you guys see. Now, if you've been watching any of my playthroughs ever, you know that I don't cheat anything in. I grind. I harvest. That's all I do. Um, I make it all so I'm gonna piece this video together you're gonna see a lot of transitions where I build a few parts um, spend like 10-15 minutes gathering stuff build a few more parts put them down um, I don't just build it all at one time and then lay it all down I like to do it in pieces because it gets really extremely boring for me I like the building and the grinding part but it's also can be very boring sometimes so as you guys know I don't I do it all legit though as I've mentioned several times and then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting um, pieces out there. So what I'm doing first is I am going to work with a dino gateway, a behemoth dino gateway, and a behemoth gate. So what I'm going to do is line it up where I want, and then I'm going to build the wall off of the original gate that I put down. So put down one gate, build the wall. Now normally I would do it off the base building, but the way I built that little base oval building, it's nowhere near this where it can be connected to this wall. So I can't do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of run it to it and kind of attach it to um, the building a little bit. So it's going to be, there's going to be one wonky part when I'm done, but that's just how it is because I wanted that oval on that little overhang. And there, there is a, there is technically a way to do it, but I didn't want to do it. So, um, well, let's just be obvious and be honest here. I didn't think about it until much later. Huh? There you go. So. <laughs> I could have fixed it, but I screwed up and I could have built it off of the oval first and went that way with the gateway, but I did not do it. So, so we're going to go off the gateway. And like I said, I'm having a little wonky part, but we'll be okay. And as you can see, the time keeps moving. I'm not, I'm just playing on the game straight through. So it was almost dark there when I laid that gateway down and now it's dark and I'm laying these foundations down that I made. So, so what I'm doing to harvest is I'm using a Megatherium, and I'm using my hatchet to collect wood, and and I'm using the Dodicarus with the Argentavis to collect sand, and then I am also using the uh, Morella tops to collect cactus sap, and then so I'm making the clay from the cactus sap and the sand, and then I'm making the adobe structures with the wood thatch and the clay. So that's how this is going. Um, you guys have seen it, and I'll sh show you guys a couple of times in the. Uh, superstructures uh, crafting station as you guys will see adobe structures are made in your inventory now like i said in, in multiple times i'm using a mod called superstructures um, it's one of the only two mods i'm using on this and then what it allows you to do is craft these pieces inside of the structure instead of inside of your hands and the superstructures can be picked up a lot longer now you can also set up structures to be picked up in your inventory um, when you're loading arc there's a way of doing it so wildcard actually made it a little easier for us with that but as you can see what i'm doing is i'm laying down adobe superstructures foundations so ss foundations you can use regular foundations it doesn't matter adobe foundations um, and that's what i'm doing so first i'm going to lay a layer of in some places it's going to be two layers because it's just the only way i can do it because they're going to snap in the ground now i have obstructions turned off on my server you can also turn off obstructions um on your single player game so this allows you to kind of snap them where they kind of go into the ground a little bit so that you can keep these things level if you don't do that you're going to be doing these building on unlevel things which i've done videos on in the past you know building ramps building on uneven grounds where you got to kind of use pillars and stuff to do it and it just looks like garbage so if you have obstructions off you can actually snap them down a little bit and kind of build them on top of and if you're playing on PC like I am, using Superstructures, great mod. You can snap these guys all kind of places. So um, it just works a lot better. So that was my partner there. She just flew by on her RG chasing something and then um, just checking out what I'm doing. And her and I were talking. You might see in the chat back and forth. Originally, I was thinking of building these um, just foundations all the way up the wall. And she was like, why? Why don't you use walls are a lot cheaper than the foundations so she convinced me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just snap the base layer of foundations like i said one to two high 
Um, as you can see, when I originally did in that one spot in the dark, I was doing like three or four high, but I'll fix that later. And then um, using superstructures here, I got a demo gun, so I can pull it up and just demo, pull up that piece that I snapped in the ground that I didn't want to. And there's a Pegomasis over there. Oh, I hate those things. Um, urgh, one of the few dinos that I absolutely hate. Let's, let's kill it. I don't, I don't want it to come get me later. I just don't like them. You guys know from my last video, I mentioned it again. I mentioned it multiple times on the island. The three dinos I don't like. Ugh. The Pegomasis, which I call the Steely Guy. The Ichia, whatever, the Pelican Birds. I call them the Steely Birds. And then the third one is the Micro Raptors. Now on Scorched Earth, there's two of them. The Pegomasis and the Micro Raptors. Thank God there's no Steely Birds. Um, but there we go. So I'm just kind of snapping these out, kind of building the framework of the wall. Now, just so you guys know, this wall is going to, I'm going to expand this wall probably two or three times. I don't know. I just, originally I just built it like I want, um, just to have a safe area to start with. And then I will expand it from there. So as just like I did with the behemoth gateway, I'll put a gateway down and then I'll build the wall out a little bit. And then I'll take some of the pieces down from the inside wall and put them on the outside wall. That's kind of how I do this. But you can see here's where I'm running into the issue where I'm going to run into my base building right there and I can't snap it into it. So um, it's going to be off. It's going to have a little spot that's wonky, like I said. So now I'm to the part where we're laying down these. Uh, well, I'm laying them down. I'm laying down these walls. And then I'm going to snap all these in. What my partner did was make a bunch of walls. That's where we got in the discussion. I was asking her, why'd you make all these walls and not foundations? And it's because it's cheaper and it works just as well. Anyway, so so making all these walls. And she made me like 100 walls. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing because it's, it's kind of crazy and boring. But I'm kind of explaining a little bit as we go. But with these walls, um, there's really, there's... I'm not even sure if Rex is. I didn't even look, but there's a raptor. Rexes might be able to break the wall, do some damage to an adobe structure. They're not like metal and stone. They might be similar to stone, I think. So the same damage adobe can take like a stone wall would take. So you might be safe with the adobe structures. I bet you if you were playing on uh, Minecraft and you were using adobe structures, the ghast and the nether could break them. <laughs> Mixing two games here. Pixar. Ugh. Yeah. Whoever created that one was was kind of a far stretch from from crazy there. Um, I've seen people play it for a few minutes, and I'm like, why would you play this thing? But then I've also been tempted to play it. I've ne I'll never play it. So anyway, so just keep snapping these walls in. That's what I'm doing. Just going to build it out, and then I'll pick up that other gate when I'm done. And then I'll snap that other gate on the side. Eventually, like I said, I'm going to expand it a couple more times. And then what I'm going to do is on the outside of the wall, once I get the wall laid out where I want it, then I'm going to put a doorway into another spot where I'm going to have a dino building. So I'll have a couple more gateways in that building. We'll be able to put dinos that can fit in a regular gateway, not the behemoth gateway. And then um, be able to store some in there. That way we can collect eggs with them, um, use them to harvest eggs, use them to breed, that kind of stuff. First thing I got to do though is protect the base. And I got to do that by building a wall because the spike walls are, they're okay to start with, but that's not what I want. I like it to look nice at least. There we go. I'm just kind of flashing around a little bit, like I said. So now I'm going to pick up this other behemoth gate because I got a, enough of the wall down where I can keep what's around here, which is around here so far as raptors and thorny dragons and carnos. They can't get over a one a too high wall so I'm good with that so um, just got to get this gateway in and then I'll have the whole thing like blocked in and kind of just line it up so what I'm doing is I'm lining it up in first person and I'm switching to orbital camera to try to look and when you do the orbital camera you need to kind of line it up like right in front of you before you go to orbital camera because you can see when you switch to orbital camera it jumps really far out there so I'm just kind of looking where I'm at just kind of line it up a little bit Orbital cameras K on the keyboard if you're on PC. I do not know what it is on PlayStation Switch or or uh, Xbox. I apologize. But you guys should be able to find that out if you're looking in the controls. You can see what the controls are. So right now I'm in third person there. Switch back to first person. 
throw the gateway the gate in and there we go now that side's blocked in i'm gonna turn this guy um this is a superstructure's gate so i can turn it on to auto close only because i don't want it to auto open and that darn parasaur is in my area he walked right over that so flash forward there a little bit I got one more spot to fill in this is going to be a regular gateway this is where that raptor was a few minutes ago that i killed See that stupid parasaurus parasaurus behind me just like pounding around back there oops can't get in there oh i can get in there okay just gonna snap this in here get my gate in and then i'm flashing forward again here putting some more walls down and as you can see i messed up because i mess up all the time because the structures don't want to snap right and because i'm a dirt to dirt sometimes but that's okay all right that's it for those guys let me get this plant out of here if i can pick it up I don't like these plants or weeds in the in the walls. All right, going forward again, decided to put a doorway in. So I'm going to take a couple of these walls out. I'm probably going to move these a couple of times because they're not going to be where I want them because i got to have ramps to walk inside the wall. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, when you do that, um, yeah, you can't have a doorway right where the ramp's at. That don't make sense, right? So what I'm gonna do here in a bit guys is I'm gonna skip forward a little bit I'm gonna show you I'm just showing you guys the base of the, the build and then what I'll do is I'll skip forward where I did a lot of work for about two hours You know collecting grinding and then putting um, Some more stuff down and then I'll finish off kind of the wall area and I'll start working on the dino building and I'll show you guys the base of that And as you can see I'm putting ramps around one of the behemoth gates that had a little bit of a um a lip there because i just want to be able to walk in and out easily and i'll get all the ramps i'm out right there but we'll get more like i said i flash forward a little bit here where i had laid down quite a few more walls as you can see it's a little higher than it was when i showed you last time excuse me so we'll just keep building it up and over here where i'm snapping these this is where i'm going to put the uh the dino building and i'll extend it out but you can see we're having a little bit of a uh, um, lightning and thunderstorm right now and that's the wonky spot right there so i got the walls kind of into the foundations just to kind of meet it together but i won't be able to kind of fix it nicely because if i do that right there it's going to look ugly so i'm gonna leave that off yeah it'll be all right i'll make it do i'm not going to rebuild the whole thing just because i made a weird looking spot and then over here this is where i was putting those foundations down at night where I just snapped those two walls and I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm gonna take some of those foundations out and rebuild the just the walls into there. Make it look a little better. So many pieces though. This is so boring. As you can see, I put ramps in there, like I was telling you guys. So over here, let's get over here. And there's my strider I had on the island. You guys saw that before I was using it to collect stuff. So it's pretty good at collecting uh, cactus sap. I might do a video on that on here. They're pretty good at that. So let's uh, lay these guys down. Take a couple of, see, I took a couple of the foundations out so I can replace them with walls because her suggestion was pretty good and I like that. And I'll adjust it as we go. And eventually I'm gonna put up a little, um, between that spot and the building, I'll have like a little raised thing over the water where we can build like a greenhouse or something on. So slow process. A lot of building. No one wants to watch you build the whole time because it can be very boring. Okay, so now I'm outside. So now i got the wall kind of how I want it for now. I'll add to it a little bit more later. But what I wanted to do is start snapping some pieces down for the uh, dino building that I'm going to have. This is where I told you guys we're going to put them to breed. Um, lay eggs for uh, kibble. So we just need to have some dinos out. That way they're constantly laying eggs. And then we want to breed them and get a couple more females to lay more eggs. That's what we're doing. So right there, I'm just kind of thinking what I want to do, how I want to lay it out. Because I want it further than that wall. So I'm going to go out this way a little bit where my Argentavis is. We're going to go out this direction. So let me go ahead and snap some more in here. And these pieces work a little different, like I said, than the regular pieces. Like if you're using the superstructures, you can line them up 
And sometimes they'll snap, um, even with the other pieces, a little above the ground. So you might have a little gap in the ground so you don't have to waste as many pieces. So that's a cool thing about using superstructures on the PC. If you have PC. If you don't, you're going to be building a couple of extra pieces than I'm building. If you're doing something like this. And I need some ramps to get up here eventually. That's why I have them in my hand. But we'll get there. Slowly, slowly, just watching to make sure I don't get attacked and die, which I don't think I'd die anyway. My health's too high. Anything attacks me, I'll pull out my sword and just kill it real quick. I don't have my tech sword on this map yet. I don't know element. But once I get my tech sword in, Graham, and once I get the element, oh, these guys in trouble. I'm going to kill them all. I have it on Fjord, or if you guys watch any of my videos when I'm doing those Fjord order videos. Once I got the tech sword, it's like it was on. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so let's get some more foundations. I just keep skipping forward, as you guys can see. If you see, I run out of them and I go build some more and come back. So, like I said, I'm not going to show you guys all that. Anyone want to watch that? That was hours of grinding. It's just insane. Oh, there's a hyena don. Like those things. Those those hyena dons are okay if they're in a one, but if they're in a pack, they can't attack you. They're annoying. And these guys, the Pegomastis, I really hated. You know, look, he stole my berries anyway. Oh, that's okay. We'll get him. He's gonna die. You little thief! How dare you steal my berries! Always keep something in your last slot if you're playing on a map that has a big old masses. Otherwise, they'll steal stuff out of your inventory and you got to make sure you kill them to get that stuff back. Because they've stole like my soul gun before. They've stole my gun. They've stole all kind of stuff out of my hands. So keep berries in your last slot no matter what. That's why I stopped to pick up some more just in case. Always have something there. It's a waste of a slot, but with these guys on the map, that's what you got to do. And there's another one. I couldn't get them. There's a, I'm pretty good at grabbing stuff if you guys have watched me play so I think there's a, like another part of the glitch I was telling you guys there's a lag glitch on here but also there's like a grab glitch like I can be right on something and try to grab it and the RG won't do anything so it ha I think it has to do with the lag and then it won't even like register that I clicked the button it's weird so I'll flash forward there again let's get a couple more foundations in here getting really annoyed with my bat chibi I don't like it oops yeah it's always in my way the only one I got though I picked one on the island to bring with me and I should have picked a different one I don't really like this one no offense there bat but you know you're in my way what level is this guy I want to kill this guy he's annoying me not too bad Ooh, I could kill him but eh. I let him go I'll leave him alone for now yeah, they can stay. All right. No biggie. All right, let's get these last couple down. Oops. That one went in the ground. I don't want it in the ground. All right. especially if they're the inside layer and you have them off the ground it don't matter if there's a space between them and the ground you're not going to see it because when you do the outside you're going to snap them all the way down and fill that gap in and no one will know you did it except for you and you guys because you're watching me <laughs> if you're watching me oops that was a mistake but that's okay i'm gonna go there anyway but i don't want you there now See, we've got a little past that other gateway. I don't want to cover the water up too much. There are so many silica pearls on the ground around here. It's ridiculous. See, these I'm going to have to go down because I want to cover that ground part. Because I think this is as far as I'm going to go. All right, let's get these last couple down. As you can see, I went and built some more. Oops, 
So annoying. So many pieces. Huh. Just debating whether I wanted to go more in one direction or not. As you can see, top left, somebody messaged me on Discord and I had to cut the sound out. <laughs> I had left the sound in last time and I was watching the video. I'm like, somebody messaging me? And that was, that was my video. So, anyway, a little bit forward here. Saw something out here, which is another steely guy. I want to come kill him real quick. Hate them. Hate them so much. And then I saw this Jaboa. So I'm going to grab this Jaboa and tame this cool looking Jaboa. I'm looking for a cool one. The one I have is okay, but I don't really like think, oh, you're amazing. And I'm looking for a really cool colored one. So that's how you tame them. Punch them. There you go. Now they're down. I'm just telling my partner I got cool looking Jabo on the roof. I think that's what I said. I can't read. All right, so we're good to go. They eat pretty quick. Like I said last time on my on my last video, my settings are tweaked just a little bit, so they do tame a little bit quicker, but not much quicker. So there, are my partner's up here. Come checking it out. As you can see, she's still wearing. Uh, cloth armor even though I made her desert gear it's kind of funny or she might be wearing a desert gear I can't tell because she didn't paint it yet that yeah, looks like desert ah, see how quick that was boom pretty quick these guys tame fast so she's uh telling me that she tamed a bunch of them she's gonna throw them out real quick so I can check them out let's just look at what she tamed she thought they are they're super cute so you know you just got to keep taming them me and my daughters when we were first playing on ragnarok we made a pen of these and we just went crazy taming them and breeding them we probably had like a hundred of them in this pen started lagging our game out we had too many of them out it's crazy of course we also had a couple of pins next to them of uh <laughs> micro raptors oh somebody had a pin of micro raptors i won't say which daughter but oh those are annoying and we had another pin next to him with something else so just flash forward here a little bit more so now i have a couple walls i made i kind of got the base level made out i skipped forward a little bit and we'll show you guys all the pieces i was putting down it's kind of like i said boring um but now what i'm doing is i'm gonna just snap these gateways in so i'm just putting a couple walls the way i like to do it is line out the walls count it in the middle so I, I made it all symmetrical, so we got exact amount of sides, exact amount of pieces on each side. And then I'm gonna snap this dino gateway in the middle. And I, there's no way I'll be able to get up there, so let's stop some ramps down. All right, and we get up here, and there we go. Now we got the kind of base of where I wanna put the doors at. Change that door to auto close. Let's do the other side. this bush out my way once you clear them out they won't regrow where your your building is but you know I just me Let me make sure I'm on the same line here this is the line okay yep we're good to go two over and the third one over and we'll leave a gap for two and put that other gateway in there so I'm going to pretty much um, kind of wrap it up here. I want to show you, the reason I want to show you this next part is I found the coolest Jaboa everywhere. I've been teaming Jaboas, and I've just been trying to find a cool one and hoping to, you know, find the, the colors I really, really enjoy and I really think is really neat. And so um, saw something over here again, so I want to come check it out. And there is a, looks like a yellow and orange one, and this is the one I'm talking about. This is my new favorite. I am taming this guy. This is gonna. I'm gonna name this one Radar after the uh, the notes from the other person on the map that left all the explorer notes around. Called his Jaboa Radar. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this one, tame this guy, and then once I get this tame, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. So guys, I just I know I was just doing some wall building, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I was doing and how I was doing it to protect us on this map. So I uh, do hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I know it's kind of like not exciting stuff of going in caves and stuff like that. All that's coming. 
I'm going to be taming stuff to go attack the wyverns and fighting death worms and alpha death worms and alpha wyverns, everything. So all that's coming. Just right now, I just got to protect the base first, and that's that's the most important thing is so we don't lose our stuff that we leave here. So let me get this guy tamed. And if you guys like the video, please give me a like. If you got any comments or anything you'd be interested in seeing me do on Scorched Earth, let me know. Anything you'd be interested in seeing me do on the other maps I'll play on too, you can also let me know as well. And if I can do it, I'll do it. Um, right now I'm on Fjordor. I'm, the, I'm still on the island on my single player. I also have the Lost Island I'm working on right now on the rotating server, Genesis 2. And I am playing on Scorched Earth right now. I still have a Ragnarok game, but I'm um, kind of not using it too much right now. But there we go. I accidentally whistled, as you guys can see, and everything followed me, and that was a big mistake. I meant I went to wave, and I hit the wrong button. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.